welcome, it's Meredith. I'm here with our message for Tuesday, June 9th, 2020. We're using Bonefire Tarot for our message today. Cards are all shuffled up. Ready to go. Are you ready to go? <laughs> all right, what's on the bottom of the deck? Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. Yeah, and the Ace of Swords. We'll go with it. Eight of Pentacles. Eights in tarot are movement. Things are moving. In the suit of Pentacles, they appear to move very slowly. <laughs> Imperceptible even at times. And the eight is it's a card that shows up a lot frequently. And it's messages about doing the work of your soul and being a master of the work how you are of service to your own self, your own self-care, self-nurturing, and then how you share that. Coming alongside the Ace of Swords, Divine and Cosmic Gift of Brilliant Clarity, Everlasting Strength. So the Eight, let me go back to that for a moment. This is a card that can, at times, give the illusion of things not fulfilling because they're moving to your eye, to your feel, to your ego, slowly. And <clears throat> when the eight shows up, it's an opportunity to go deeper into the work of your soul. So what is that for you? Some questions, what have I not considered? How can I expand my thinking on this or that? Am I doing something by, by rote or simple repetition out of programming and belief system. So with that beautiful eye right in the middle of the Ace of Swords, take, in, take a fresh look, take a fresh perspective, <clears throat> pardon, at your situation and ask, what could you do differently if you are so inclined? All right, what's next? Hmm. Six of Wands, victory, success, beautiful. This card is... I feel it's a card of overcoming something that you've been wrestling with, we've been wrestling with. So on the five of wands, you have, <clears throat> excuse me, an inner debate. And oftentimes it's an inner argument. It's not necessarily a serious one. It's a little more serious when you see the five of swords, uh, though in the suit of wands, it's passionate, it's fiery, it's... It can be intense to navigate. So on the six, you've come through it. You have overcome it. You've either let something go, uh, moved on, <laughs> healed something beautifully, and then you feel a sense of inner success, inner joy, and there's, a, there's notoriety on the card too. It's either recognition from your own success in it or someone else notices it and points it out to you and you have another little epiphany to go along with it when that happens okay next <laughs> well <laughs> perfect and progression with the seven of swords how sweet is that the seven of swords all sevens in tarot are heaven touching earth so there's the beauty in this card and as I was just saying, there's a bit of an epiphany on the six, the six of wands. So while they're not in the same suit, they're still numerologically progressive in the reading. So it shows the process. This seven is often called the thief. And I feel it's how we rob ourselves of joy by not doing the work of our soul. Yeah, this may be gritty at times. It may be difficult and tough, but every step is worth it. Every experience is worth it because on the other side of it, and as you gaze at it in hindsight, ultimately you're grateful for how things were working themselves out, how you were working things out within your own self, choosing to do the self-care, choosing to do the self-nurturing, not ignoring what you're what your needs are, fulfilling those allows you to fulfill everything else. So why not do this? 
And when we don't, when we are out of harmony, all sixes in tarot are about harmony balance. When we're out of harmony, we're not feeling the fullness of our happiness, the fullness of our joy. And you know that's a choice. We see it all the time. We talk about it all the time. And there again, beautiful ace of, ace of swords showing up and pointing us in the direction of brilliant clarity. It's the universe saying, hey, pause, take a look around, savor, because doing this on the eight has created some victory and success for you and you have overcome whatever it was that you were allowing yourself to be robbed of. Mm. I love it. <laughs> What was I saying just moments ago that sometimes doing all this over here is gritty and intense and difficult, but worth every step? Yeah, there it is on the Nine of Wands. Here's another card that shows uh, tremendous endurance and strength. And let's take a moment now. We've seen the Eight of Wands, and now we're on to the Nine. And I do like this progression here. Six, seven, nine, and eight over here. Beautiful. We're really moving through the energy quite nicely. The nine of wands, the one before it is the eight. We've seen it, lots of communication, channeled information, and expanded intuitive awareness, giving us the wherewithal to carry on with what we're doing. And this is a card that also says to us, you're closer than you think. Now, some of us have really bright, bold, unmistakable signs in our day-to-day -day energy atmosphere that show us so clearly and encourage us that, yeah, you are closer than you think. And then there are those of us who don't see those signs as often or as brilliantly, right? <laughs> Ace of Swords again. Sometimes they are hard to see. And when you turn over the Nine of Wands, there's confirmation there and more encouragement that if it's not readily obvious to you within your atmosphere, on your foundation, there's a lot more going on behind the scenes with the universal influence, the beautiful flow of manifestation that we've been in. So even, even if you can't see it, it's still happening. When it looks like nothing's happening, everything's happening. And this is a card saying, hang in there, don't quit. And then the beautiful Queen of Swords. Yeah, she's our brilliant strategist. And one of the things I love about her, number one, well, several of the things I love about her, one, <laughs> she's holding the Ace of Swords and she's using it. She's wielding it. And she is directing her attention and her focus in tension into brilliant clarity, everlasting strength because when you turn over the nine of wands you absolutely absolutely need that require it you've got to replenish those energies the next thing i love about her is she's got a reputation for being cold and i disagree with that the woman is all heart she just happens to be in a role where she has to make decisions that benefit not just herself but everyone around her. She understands what it is to make a choice and the ripple effect that will flow out from that choice decision into her sphere of influence, what the consequences are of her choices and how that will benefit, bless other people. And this is a, this is a queen who knows you can't please them all. <laughs> so start with you. Yeah, the next thing I love about her is that she does not suffer any foolishness. And as I tell you so frequently, especially not her own, when she spots it, she goes to work on it. Eight of, eight of coins right there, doing the work of your soul, paying attention to those things. And you don't know what you don't know until you have some contrast and gain a new perspective. And she's brilliant at pointing that out. So. Here again, we come back around to one of my favorite questions, what have I not considered? Because this opens us all up to our expanded intuitive awareness and gives us an opportunity to look at things differently and make a new choice and continue to educate ourselves. Mm -hmm. Wow. This feels like a bit of a busy reading. Like we are going to be busy with our process today. And it feels as though doing the work of our souls, 
whatever we put our hands on, whatever we bring our attention and energy to is really going to bless us with a lot of wisdom and awareness and give us plenty of new things to consider and contemplate. All right, angel answers. Ask a question if you have one. Let the cards be a confirmation or a fresh message. <laughs> and here's one of my favorites popping right out. Big happy changes. Yes, this seven is the seven of swords is so perfect alongside big happy changes. Because when you see where you have allowed yourself to be robbed of your own joy by either not making choices and decisions, being stagnant with energy about something, or recognizing that you've not taken any action, you begin to recognize that your happiness really is the fulcrum, the leverage point, the choice in all of it. So you can allow this to continue happening, Seven of Swords, being robbed of your joy, drained of energy in some way, or you can make a new decision because it's quite likely that you've recognized where you've been robbed of your joy has had you feeling like this guy looks, <laughs> right? <laughs> and you keep digging in for your endurance and your strength, which you have plenty of, but this does not have to be your normal. You can change this up by choosing happiness and it will make a huge change for you as you do the work of your soul. <laughs> okay, next. The cards are not going to let us off the hook. The tarot is not going to allow us to be like, mm, yeah, I saw that. Thanks. I'm going to ignore it. It's just going to keep hammering it home for us <laughs> until we get it. Next card, what do we have? Interesting. We've got three of them. First, the situation will improve. It's already in the process of improving because we are asking new questions, considering new things. And then peaceful resolution. Yeah. Look for the signs all around you so that you can encourage yourself to know that this is possible and it starts in your own heart space. Peaceful resolution. Right there with the Six of Wands, success and victory. And then we're being revisited again by in the near future. And I do feel that this card is backing up the message that there are those of us who are not sensing that there are signs or evidence of all of the goodness and the bounty that's landing on our foundation that's already there, coming to light, coming to love. So in the near future, that means every day, every step, every way, every way you turn, there is some goodness there reminding you, shining a light for encouragement to keep going with your eight, doing the work of your soul, wielding the ace of swords. <laughs> I like it. All right, our affirmation for the day. <clears throat> when I am connected to my joyful presence, see, that's a choice. <laughs> I attract the support. I attract support from the universe. Yeah, and you have it here. The support from the universe is in the Ace of Swords, divine and cosmic gift from the universe. This is a blessing to you. And then here you are holding that sword like this queen does and she's using it she's wielding it and so are you so beautiful summary to the reading there okay I finally know the name of this deck it is simply the animal spirit oracle deck <laughs> yeah it was that simple uh by colette baron reed let's see what beautiful animal spirit wishes to speak to us today Oh, wow. One of my most favorite animals on this planet. Oh, I am so in love with elephants. <laughs> Elephant spirit. Learn from the past. Yeah. Do that so you can make new choices in the present. Yes. Do you want to repeat something? 
that doesn't necessarily fulfill your heart? Hmm. Or do you want to learn from that experience and choose differently in a whole new direction for your own self? Thank you for watching, everyone. I so appreciate you being here. Peace, love, joy, happiness to each of you. And namaste.